Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Yes Prep Virtual College Fair. We're so excited to have you participating in this event. We have some fantastic schools here with us today. My name is Becca Russo, and I will be your facilitator. Before we get started, a few housekeeping items. Your camera and microphones are off, so the panelists cannot see or hear you. You can use the Q&A button at the top of your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any time. This is just one of many different sessions happening, so be sure to check out the schedule um, on our website. The presentation is being recorded and will be available at strivescan.com backslash yes prep. So if all presenters could actually go off camera, I will bring on our first school. Um, our first school today is HCC. So go ahead and take it away. Good morning. How is everyone today? This is Susan Thompson. I am the program director for Houston Community College and I'm very excited to be here. Uh, we have some great programs at Houston Community College, but what makes us great is are also our partnerships. And so um, I'm gonna highlight three of our major partnerships. Um, engineering is one of the most exciting programs to get into. And part of it is because of the challenge, part of it is because you have an opportunity to make a difference. Uh, creativity, problem solving, collaborative work with others, travel, and then there's also great money. So engineering is just an incredible um, career field. In Texas, Texas is the world in engineering, and we currently employ over 92,000 engineers, and that demand will only increase within the next 10 years. And part of it is because of automation, part of it is because of other um, things that are going on at companies relocating to Texas, but also I have a screen that's popping up, so let me get rid of that. Here we go. Is my, is it sharing? No. Oh, oh there you go. Thank you, thank you for saying that. Okay, so now do you see it? There you go. Yep. Okay, good. Okay. Um, so what we are going to have a significant shortage in engineers, and so we are doing a, an incredible job through our partnerships and through our programs to increase the number of engineers that are available. We offer an Associate of Science in Engineering Science. This is a wonderful program that builds in about 18 hours of engineering credit that allows the students to complete an associate's degree and step into a junior level engineering program. It is transferable to all public universities in the state of Texas, and we have a number that have gone on to other universities throughout the country. Um, what makes this exciting is that the 18 hours allow you to meet those prerequisites, to stay local, to earn, um, to pay less money. It's much more um, financially sustainable and uh, you have smaller class sizes and more personal attention. Our program started in 2012 with about 48 students. We now have about 3,200 declared majors. We have three great partners and we'll go through those real quick. Uh, UT Tyler is currently located on our HCC A-Leaf campus right here in Houston. And through our ACES program, our engineering associates degree, students are able to transfer to the UT Tyler at Houston Engineering Center and complete a degree in mechanical, electrical, or civil engineering, and then also compute, uh, construction management. This program costs less, start to finish, less than $24,000, which is impressive. Um, again, smaller class sizes, it's all located right here in Houston. We also have a wonderful partnership with Texas a and through the Chevron Academy. Granted, you can also complete your ACES degree and transfer to Texas A&M, but we have an, an engineering academy that is cohort-based that allows students to apply through the academy, work and take engineering courses through Texas A&M on our HCC Spring Branch campus, so right here in Houston. And then HCC provides all of the physics, chemistry and calculus and other support courses. Smaller class sizes, you save a lot of money, and it's it's just a faculty that allows you to be co-enrolled in both institutions and access all of the services available at both institutions. 
and the students can transfer on to College Station and complete any of their engineering majors. Our uh, newest engineering partnership is with the University of Houston, and this is also an application-based program. Applications open November 1st, as same as the Texas a and program. Um, students, the ideal student is out of high school, um, can have, is calculus ready, and or if they're an HCC student, they have at least a 3.0 grade point average and they're admissible to both institutions. Again, they're co-enrolled, so U of H provides the engineering courses, HCC provides all of the support courses. Um, smaller class sizes, significantly lower tuition and fees with this program, and access to all of the student services, activities, tutoring events, and uh, football games. So it's, it's an incredible program. But our engineering students at HCC are transferring all over the United States. So it's great opportunities. We have wonderful programs and an incredible staff. And for more information, hccs.edu forward slash engineers are the, is the best website to be able to access all of these uh, contacts. And with that, I will turn it over to the next presenter. Hi, everybody. I'm Leslie Keeler. I'm the Texas Regional Admissions Counselor for Lawrence Tech University. Can you see my screen now? You should be able to. Um, we are comprised of four different colleges that you see there. Um, I've also included my contact information at the top there. So my hope is that you will feel free to contact me directly anytime if you have more information or if you have more information, have questions that are not covered um, or that you don't get a chance to ask during this presentation. Um, I'm the regional admissions counselor for Lawrence Tech. Uh, I'm located here in North Texas, but Lawrence Tech is located in Southfield, Michigan. Southfield is a suburb of Detroit. It's located in a really dynamic business area, which is good for our students because most of them are involved in internships or co-ops, and so they have lots of meaningful um, choices there. We offer a, a personalized education in a small setting. Uh, we personalize it through small classes, um, an 11 to 1 student professor ratio, and applied learning, which means that our students are working on projects, doing research in state-of-the-art labs and studios all over campus, and participating in paid internships and credit co-ops. Um, we have a great campus feel. It's very homey. Um, we have four residence halls. Two of them are relatively new and ultra modern design. And one of those, our biggest one is where the freshmen are staying. Um, residence hall life is easy. It's fun. Um, but with that, being at home, you still have the feel of a large university with um, NAIA competitive sports as well as uh, eSports, which we've just added in the last few years, um, and lots of student organizations. So you get the feel of a big university um, within that small, very welcoming setting. We have over 100 different majors. Our College of Architecture and Design has a direct entry five-year masters, which means you can be an architect in five years. We just graduated the youngest architect in the state of Michigan. Uh, at 23, he is now a practicing architect. So great opportunity there. We also have one of a kind programs like transportation design, game design. Um, our causes, College of Business and Information Technology offers uh, majors in all kinds of areas like marketing, finance, and also we have information technology. And we've just added business data analytics. Being a small private university, we're able to add programs as technology dictates. And that's one of our new ones with data mining that's become a big area of uh, business. 
Our College of Arts and Sciences is our largest college. Um, it houses our nursing program, uh, also all the natural science majors if you want to do something like pre-med, our media communication major, uh, lots of computer science concentration areas, including new ones in artificial intelligence and cybersecurity. So again, that um, adapting to changes in technology. And we've also added a, a major in data science, because again, data is becoming a big area of, of business and um, computer science. And finally, our College of Engineering. Um, this is how we started. The Lawrence brothers were friends of Henry Ford and they started a mechanical engineering program right on the Model T plant site. So uh, fast forward now and we're up to a hundred different majors, but we still have that same approach, uh, theory and practice. To apply to Lawrence Tech, we require um, an online application um, and a fee, a $30 application fee, your high school transcript and an essay. We just wanna get to know you a little bit, see why maybe LTU would be a, a good fit for you. We are test optional again for this, for fall 2022, but if you have the opportunity to take a test and you, or you do have test scores, you're welcome to send those on. They will help you, they won't ever hurt you. In terms of your investment, and that's how we need to look at your college tuition, um, it is a good investment. We're in the top 10% of alumni salaries. Um, the, the cost is broken down by major, and then we break out the housing and the meal plan, and you get a total cost range. Uh, bear in mind, that's probably not what you're going to pay. 97% um, of our students receive need-based financial assistance, and 100% of our Texas students get uh, valuable academic scholarships. Because we are in Michigan, even though we're a private university and everybody pays the same tuition, uh, if you're outside of the state of Michigan, we do offer our National Blue Devil Scholarship, which is $5,000 a year for four years, as well as the academic scholarship ranging in from 6,000 to 16,000 a year. We also have athletic scholarships, uh, portfolio scholarship for design majors, and things like robotics and DECA. So lots of opportunities to earn really good scholarships. Uh, finally, I just wanna post my contact information again. I am the Texas Regional Counselor, so this is my job to be available to you. So please feel free to contact me anytime. I encourage you to look on the website and uh, take our virtual tour and check out in more detail what our colleges can offer you. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you. My apologies about earlier, everyone, little technical issue, but we are back. Um, next up, we have New Mexico Institute of Mining and Technology. Take it away. Awesome, okay. Uh, okay, sweet. So hello, everyone. My name is Holly Oxford, and I'm an admissions advisor here at New Mexico Tech. Uh, we're located in Socorro, New Mexico, so we're about an hour south of uh, Albuquerque. Uh, so with that, this kind of shows some of our notable rankings. We are number one for the best college in New Mexico. We are also number four for the best Hispanic serving uh, university, and we are also number one in our materials and our mechanical engineering programs. This is some of our notable alumni uh, that have graduated from New Mexico Tech. So Dr. Terry Wallace is a retired director of our Los Alamos National Labs. Uh, Lucas Lundy is a petroleum businessman. And so you can see how there's just a lot of opportunities for those who have graduated from our university. So a little history, we were the New Mexico School of Mines and we were established in 1889. In 1951, we changed our name to the New Mexico Institute of Mining and Technologies. About 98% of our full-time faculty do have their doctoral degree in their specific field, which means that a lot of your classes related to your degree will be taught by someone who is very knowledgeable in that area. We're located in the scenic Rio Grande Valley. We're about an hour's drive from Albuquerque, and we have a lot of excellent mountain and hiking, as well as our Bosque del Apache. These are our admissions requirements for fall 2022. We are test optional, which means that a 2.5 GPA or higher is gonna get you admitted in. If you do take the 
ACT or SAT, you are more than welcome to send those in. If not, we will go off of your high school GPA uh, for any scholarships that you might qualify for. So we are a small university at Tech, you're not just a number. Uh, our undergrad population is about 1300 students and then 500 graduate students. So your average class sizes are gonna be about 25 students with your largest being about 60, which would be any of your freshman courses. Uh, we do have the smallest class size of one. So if there is something specific that you need to graduate, some type of research or something along those lines, you can work with a professor to get that class for just you for that semester. Uh, we are a 12 to 1 ratio for our student to faculty, so you really do get a lot of one on one attention uh, that you miss at uh, bigger universities. So this is our College of Engineering. Uh, anything with an asterisk next to it is part of our five year plan, which means that you can join this five year plan that allows you to get your master's and your undergrad at the same time. Uh, so we have like our civil engineering, our computer science and engineering. Uh, as well as our mechanical, which are some of our top programs at the moment. We then also have our College of Arts and Sciences. Uh, so these are like your basic sciences, uh, chemistry, we have a biomedical degree. Uh, we also have a psychology and a technical communications, which are a little bit less uh, STEM, but they do have a science base since we are a STEM university. So these are just some of the places that our tech alumni go after graduation. Uh, they go pretty much all over the world. We have about 85% of our graduate, undergraduates have a job or graduate school lined up before graduation. And after six months after graduation, that percent goes up to about 95% of our students have a job or a graduate school lined up. So we have our student affairs on campus. They offer employment. Uh, as well as help with resume, cover letters, your personal statements. Uh, we have our tutoring centers as well as our help departments. And like I said before, our easy access to your professors. So they have office hours and they're always here to help. We also offer our wellness. Uh, so we have our student health center as well as our counseling center and our disability services as well. Uh, which is all free to students on campus. So these are our, these are our student clubs and activities. We have many on campus. We have an esports uh, club as well as rugby. Uh, we have a lot of just for fun clubs as well. We have a waffle club, uh, a tea club, uh, a ballroom dance club. There's many clubs. If there's not a club on campus, uh, that, but you would like to start one. Uh, you basically just get uh, signatures and then you're able to uh, start uh, your own club. These are all of our recreational opportunities. So we have our gym, uh, a 18 hole golf course, as well as a swimming pool and a lot of outdoor activities. So this is our campus housing. We have our traditional styles, our suite styles, um, as well as our apartment styles. Living on campus, it is free parking as well as free laundry. Okay, so this is our non-resident tuition fees. Uh, so as you can see there, we do offer first-time freshman scholarships for those we will go off of your high school GPA since we are test optional. We also have a competitive scholarship that basically allows for you to um, compete to get in-state tuition if that's something you're interested in. We'll go off your high school GPA and your ACT score. Uh, this kind of shows our application checklist if you're interested in attending uh, our university. And then we also offer campus visits. So feel free to come to campus uh, and kind of see what we have to offer. Okay, it is actually time for our next presenter. Um, thank you so much. Uh, we are going to hear from Oklahoma State University College of Engineering, Architecture and Technology next. All right, hello. Um, so my name is Katie Stray. I am the Texas Recruitment Specialist for the College of Engineering, Architecture and Technology. That's a mouthful. So I will be using our acronym SEAT with a C, not an S. 
Um, so, oh shoot. Um, so why OSU Seed? So we offer our students the chance to learn from award-winning faculty, access state-of-the-art facilities, which I'll be talking about in a minute. And we uh, allow our students to uh, learn the tools to make a difference in the world. A few of our numbers, uh, we are the safest college campus in the state of Oklahoma. All 14 of our majors are accredited, which is incredibly important because you wouldn't want to get a degree that isn't um, certified to go work in the industry. Uh, within our college, we have 60 student organizations. We are ranked number 10 best value engineering school and best value takes into account the cost of tuition, the cost of living with the degree that you are receiving. And uh, that kind of ties in with um, scholarships as well. Uh, we just hit $3 million awarded in scholarships last year. Um, so we offer eight engineering degrees, as well as four technology degrees and two architecture degrees. Uh, we also offer uh, many academic resources. Um, tutoring at Oklahoma State is free and always accessible. Uh, we offer tutoring for all math classes and um, academic coaching within our college with tutors for all subjects. And they're all students who have taken the class. So they know the professor. They know um, how to help you study. Um, we also offer many one-on-one -on -one resources for tutoring as well as a writing center. Uh, within our college, we have our own dorm. It is Parker Hall. It's for first year seat students. And that's great because it's an instant community of people who you'll be starting college with and graduating with. Uh, we also offer tutoring resources in Parker Hall. So you could easily walk downstairs and get help with a class. Um, it's a traditional dorm. And we also offer a college prep program called Summer Bridge which um, Parker Hall students come in three weeks before the fall semester starts. And it's a really great way to dip your toes into doing college. Um, you get to review things like calculus and physics um, and get to do engineering design and fabrication projects. At Oklahoma State, we have over 500 campus organizations, um, things like band, Greek life, student government, intramural sports, philanthropy organizations. And then within our college, we um, offer things like student council, diversity and inclusion clubs. There's a professional organization for every major as well as competition and design teams. Uh, Oklahoma State University is a land grant institution. And part of that land grant status is research. And we offer, um, a lot of different programs for students who are interested in completing undergraduate research. Um, we have a program uh, like freshman research scholars and seat undergrad research scholars, which is where students will receive anywhere from a thousand to two thousand dollars, a faculty mentor, and they're actually getting to solve a real world problem. Um, we also have our Grand Challenge Scholars Program, which is basically just an elevated version of that, but you also get to compete against other universities. So uh, we're going to college because we want to get a career. Um, at C and Oklahoma State, we do a really great job at preparing you for a career. Um, we have a career services in our college um, that offers offers resume workshops, mock interviews, and professional development workshops. We actually just wrapped up our seat career fair, which is the largest on campus, and it's full of companies and groups. And uh, Houston actually has a very strong presence at our career fair, and they are full of companies who are looking specifically for OSU seat students. We also offer a uh, career fairs within each department. Um, so that state of the art uh, facility uh, that I was talking about, this is it. Um, this is our Endeavor Lab. It was completed in 2017 and it's the first strictly undergraduate lab in the nation. Um, and it's kind of just a playground for engineers. It has state-of-the-art equipment that has been donated from companies and private donors and it's 
real world technologies. We've got 3D printers, we've got high tech computers, um, and it's also the home for our senior capstone. Um, at C, we really focus on multidisciplinary and hands on learning, and this is the place where you do it. And then to wrap up, um, even if you're just the slightest bit interested in a seat or Oklahoma State, um, I highly recommend applying um, because November 1st is the deadline for priority scholarships. Thank you. Thank you so much. Up next, we have Texas A&M University School of Engineering. Howdy everyone, my name is David DeSouza and I serve as the Associate Director for the Texas A&M Engineering Academy program. Um, I'm gonna try here to share my screen. Just one second. Oh, actually, long screen. One second, I only have one. There we go. All right, so y'all heard earlier about the engineering academy programs within Houston Community College. Um, I'm gonna talk to you more about the program with Texas A&M University. As y'all know, engineering is everywhere. Engineers can do in anything really. Uh, engineer uses scientific, technological and mathematic knowledge to solve problems. So they are problem solvers. So the College of Engineering at Texas A&M University, we're actually currently ranked number eight among all the public institutions in the United States. Um, we have um, over 22,000 students just in the College of Engineering here at Texas A&M. We have over 700 faculty. We have over 2.1 million square feet of learning space. Um, and we're also proud to say that we have what we call professor practice. We actually have a, over 100 professor practice. These are professors that come to teach in our classroom and they come in with industry experience. So the students can understand that whatever they're learning in the classroom also relates into industries. And also we have a large number of professors that are focused on research and have received um, a large amount of, um, of um, recognition for it. Um, if you look here on, on this slide, you, you can see our, our rankings. Actually, this year we ranked number seven and we actually we went down to, to number eight. So the 2022 um, rankings, uh, we, we went down just, just by one number, but still we, we have a lot of programs that are ranked um, top 10 in the nation. As you can see, petroleum engineering, biological engineering, aerospace, civil, industrial, mechanical, electrical, chemical, are all ranked top 10 in the United States. There are multiple pathways to come to Texas A&M University. First is apply as incoming freshman. Keep in mind that the deadline is December 1st. Um, you can try to come in as a transfer applicant. We don't recommend that because there is an engineering academy just um, there close to you in Houston. And finally, the Engineering Academy program, where I'm gonna spend most of my time here talking about this wonderful pathway. So as you can see, we're located all over the state. So we have a partnership there with ACC. Uh, we also have another one that is not too far from you with Blink Brenham. We were established in 2015. We are considered the first engineering transition program of its kind in the United States. Our students are co-enrolled with any one of these partner community colleges. And the students are Aggies from day one. They're Texas A&M students from day one. They are at the same level as our students. They are here in College Station. However, it's not as competitive. Um, unfortunately, when students apply as incoming freshmen to start here in College Station, we have to turn away a lot of good students. So our college decided to create this program where we can actually serve the population of Texas because we are also a land-grant institution. 
So just know that um, what we're looking for is for students that are math ready. And what I mean about math ready, we want students that are either pre-calculus, that's college level pre-calculus and also um, calculus one at a minimum. So pre-calculus and calculus one, we highly have recommend students to start in calculus one um, by the first semester of our program. And the reason why we exist, as I mentioned, is to provide more access to a well-known engineering degree. Uh, also, our students can save up to $50,000 on their overall education because they're they are taking most of the courses through HCC, that is a fraction of the cost compared to a four year institution. And also we're very big in student completion. So we have a lot of programs um, where our, our, our students um, can be successful in engineering. As you can see, uh, we have 22 majors to choose from. So we have a lot to choose from, as I mentioned earlier, we have a lot of programs. We bring students to campus at no cost to them because we have a partnership with Chevron and Chevron gave us the funds um, for students to come to campus at no cost. And plus the application fee is paid by Chevron funds. So your $75 application fee, it's really free to you. So our deadline um, is April 1st. That's the priority one, but students really have until June 1st to apply. So, so keep us in mind, the application process is really simple. You start at HCC. If you're math ready, then you're given a link to apply to Texas a University. And here is um, the link where you can get the form if you're interested in our program. Uh, it's the pre-qualification form where we ask questions about if you're math ready. But, uh, that's, that's all the information I have um, today. Mr. Cadena is um, the recruiter for, for this program. He wasn't, um, he's, he's not here today, but if you have any questions, please reach out to us. Thank you very much. Thank you. Up next, we have University of Houston Cullen College of Engineering. Can you hear me all right? Yes. Okay. Well, good morning. My name is Esperanza Vasquez, and I am a senior in biomedical engineering. So why choose school and college of engineering? Well, first of all, other than the great experience you can have here in this college, there are, these are the 2018 average annual salaries in engineering majors itself. As you can see, the majority of them have a mean salary of 90,000 and above. So, and majoring in engineering, although it is challenging, it would definitely be worth it at the end after graduation. And there are also lots of job opportunities here in this country. So when you go to UH, you have the ability to weigh economical, social, environmental, political, sustainable, ethical, and manufacturable influences on design. There are currently eight different majors in the Cooling College of Engineering. The first one is biomedical engineering. As I mentioned, I am a biomedical engineer. And basically what biomedical engineering is, is solving problems in biology and medicine to advance healthcare, medicine, and patient care. Currently, our head chair is the president of IEE EMBS. The next one is chemical engineering, which links chemistry to engineering through learning how to produce substances or products to improve people's lives. Civil engineering, which is the development and maintenance of both human-made and natural infrastructures. Computer engineering, which combines electrical and computer science through designing and maintaining hardware. So the difference between computer engineering and computer science is that computer engineering works with hardware while computer science works with software. Electrical engineering encompasses anything that requires electrical power. Industrial engineering experts in optimis, optimizing people, machines, information, materials, and energy. Mechanical engineering, applies engineering, physics, engineering, mathematics, and material science principles to design, analyze, manufacture, and maintain mechanical systems. Mechanical engineering is one of the popular majors here, as well as petroleum engineering, which I will mention in a bit, which petroleum engineering gateway to extract oil and meet energy demands. Houston is a big 
oil infrastructure community. So petroleum engineering is also very popular here in Houston. So what kind of students is the Cullen College currently looking for? These are the SAT and ACT scores that they are looking for. However, the Cullen College of Engineering is test optional this upcoming fall 2022. I believe you only need a minimum of a 3.8 GPA to get automatically in the college. These are the standard scores when you're top 25 and an SAT and ACT and other ranks as well. Obviously here in the state of Texas, top 10% gives you automatic admissions at any public college. Here are the tuitions and fees. Sorry, the little, okay. So the estimated cost per semester is about 5,752 and five cents. The student service fee is $260. The university fee is $135. And we also have a recreation and wellness center, which is the gym, really humongous with a big rock um, wall climb. I highly recommend it if you ever go visit the university to definitely visit the gym as well. So that's about a total of $6,253 per semester. However, UH also has a UH in four, and that would average a cost of attendance about 41965 which also here is the room and board included at the bottom as well. In addition to the UH and four, some engineering majors or engineering programs have the accelerated master's program where you can um, exempt, I believe up to two or three classes depending on the program to apply onto your master's. And as well, if you're doing research, I believe you can also do your research credit as an undergrad here at the University of Houston that can go towards your master's degree. And therefore you can finish your master's in a much faster time. So these are some contact information for the Cullen College of Engineering. Uh, we, oops, sorry. Uh, these, the undergraduate recruitment manager email and phone number is listed there. We do have a new recruitment manager, so definitely give her a contact if you're interested. And that will be all for this presentation. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. If everyone um, could come back on camera, we're going to quickly do a Q&A for the students. Um, so we are going to go in the order in which we presented. So we'll start with HCC. Um, what is one thing you want students to remember about your school? Great question. I think the one of the biggest benefits is we're very accessible. We have over 26 different campuses, uh, over 200 programs, and, but a small community. So students are very included. There's questions about different types of students in the, in the chat. Uh, all students are included. There's student organizations to allow students to help to feel more as part of a community. There's personal, um, hands-on, interaction with the faculty and with the fellow students. So there's a lot of personal attention. And uh, we love our students. It's great to have them on our campuses and, and virtual as well. Uh, Wonderful. Uh, can I, I, I'm gonna add some, this is Danny Arocha, I'm a student recruiter for Houston Community College. Uh, what, I, what, what I think we also have to offer is uh, a community college is open to everybody. So we're open admissions. But then we also have some amazing partnerships with a and U of H, and also UT Tyler. So for you students that are ready to hit the ground running, but uh, don't want to have to break the bank your first two years, you can stay home, enjoy mom's cooking for two years, but you can still be at the same time, if you could get into the a and Academy or the U of H Academy from day one, you don't have to transfer, you transition to either a and or the University of Houston Academies, okay? And that's what I really, really, really love about the partnerships that HCC has created uh, with our, our fellow uh, 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 schools uh, here in Texas. Very nice. Lawrence, uh, Technical Technological University. Um, I would, the first thing that comes to my mind is the learning environment. It's extremely unique. Uh, the students are very focused, but they're also friendly. Um, and students, almost all of our students start uh, in internships as early as second semester of freshman year. 
So, and these are meaningful paid internships. So those two things would be something that I hope you take away. Perfect. Um, New Mexico Institute of Mining and Technology. Yeah, so we, I, one thing to take away would be that we are a research university. So a lot of our professors are still doing research and always looking for new students to come in. Uh, so for those research opportunities, those internships, it's as early as your freshman year with us being such a small university. Uh, we are always looking for new, new ideas, new um, things brought to the table. And we're a super hands-on university. We really pride ourselves on that. So you, so you get a lot more hands-on, a little less uh, sitting in like a lecture style for sure. Mm. Great. Oklahoma State University College of Engineering, Architecture and Technology. Um, I would definitely say that we, um, when you go to OSU, you're a part of the Cowboy family. And within our engineering program, uh, you get a great uh, degree, but, and you get that, you know, big school feel with the football games and student organizations and meeting different types of people. Um, but you really do have the opportunity to excel in the classroom um, and get to know your faculty members. Awesome. Texas A&M and University Engineering. Howdy. So the main thing that I want y'all to remember from, from my presentation is that you can be a Texas A&M University student locally. You stay there anywhere from one year up to two years. You can save up to $50,000 on your overall education, and you are at the same level as our students in College Station. My recommendation is to apply to as many universities as, as you can, and at the end, go to the one that makes more sense to you. Um, again, Aggie from day one, stay local, save money. Thank you. University of Houston. Uh, there are two things that come in mind. The first thing is the University of Houston. It's by its name. We are located in Houston, and it is so diverse. So you meet all kinds of people, all different kinds of people from different backgrounds. In addition to that, we have a lot of groups, and especially from each of our engineering programs that help with networking, help to um, build up your resume, as well as applying to different internships and jobs that can help you in your career. Wonderful. All right. Thank you, everyone, so much. This concludes our presentation. So when you close the window, there will be a link to a very quick five question survey. We'd appreciate any feedback you can provide. We encourage you to check back to the schedule and sign up for more sessions. You'll be able to find this session's recording as well as all other session recordings at strivescan.com backslash yes prep. Thank you so much to our presenters and I hope you all have a safe and healthy rest of your week. Take care.